Hey guys, I made this video as a help for all those who would like to play wacky races for the Dreamcast on a PC using the Dreamcast emulator. This video will follow this structure. First I'm gonna talk about which emulator should you use. Then I'll list all the required programs and necessities. Finally I'll show you step by step the things you have to do to be able to play wacky races on PC. Before we start I have to make something clear. I can provide download links to everything here. I assume you are all intelligent and resourceful people who knows how to use Google properly and I can guarantee you that everything I show you here can be found online. Also my OS is Windows 7 32 bits, theoretically there shouldn't be any problems on 64 bit or other operating systems though. Now let's talk about Dreamcast emulators. I've tried 4 of them so far namely Chancast, Null DC, Macaron and Demule. Let's see the results for Wacky Races. With Chancast I could start a game but no matter what it's only shown half of the picture which needless to say made the game completely unenjoyable. Using Null DC brought a sign of hope because it's shown the whole screen but two of the elements such as the menus were invisible. It's kind of a pity. Now I've seen that some people made Wacky Races work on Macaron but truth be told I couldn't even get Macaron itself to work. Maybe I'm incompetent but no success there. Finally Demule. Demule was the emulator that started Wacky Races properly so I recommend you to use Demule. If you want to use another emulator be my guest but I can provide you information about those. Now that we've chosen our emulator let's see what we need in order to play the game. First the game itself. You can find a variety of Wacky Races ROMs to download. I don't know all about them. Mine is named Wacky Races English DCRest.CDI. I recommend you to get this one. Then the emulator which would be Demule in this case. You can download it from Demule's homepage. I used the latest version as of April 2014. It was version 0.582. Also you need to download two files namely the DC BIOS and DC Flash.bin. These two are needed in order to run Demule properly. Also you need virtual drive software such as Demon Tools and an archiver such as WinRare. Ok let's get to work. Ok let's start by opening up Demon Tools. For all of you who are familiar with Demon Tools I apologize. For all of you who are new to Demon Tool, pay close attention. So first of all we should create a new DT drive by clicking on this button. It will create a new drive that's like a physical DVD-ROM drive connected to your computer when in fact it's not. So add the new image to this new drive F. Here is my new Wacky Races CDI image which I'm gonna select, open, it appears on the list. So click on it and click on the mount button. Now your drive F has this Dreamcast CD in it. I mean theoretically not physically of course. So if you've done everything correctly and downloaded all the files I mentioned you should now have three files on your desktop like this. So let's create a new folder. It goes like Wacky Races DC. Open up this folder and put the DC BIOS, the DC Flash bin files and the archive Demule in this folder. The next task will be to extract the Demule from this archive. So if you previously installed WinRare just right click on this file and select extract here. Ok so you have basically installed Demule to your computer. You can delete the archive we have no use for it. So let's start up Demule and see what it does. First of all it will say BIOS is not configured yet. Alright click on OK let's do it. Depending on what you have choose DirectX 10 or DirectX 11 respectively. Under the GD-ROM section choose GDR Demule. Then notice that the BIOS and ROM paths indicate that you have a ROMs folder in the folder where you extracted the Demule. So go back because I think we don't have the folder yet. Ah uh, yes I'm right. So let's create a new folder by clicking the new folder button and just write in ROMs. That's ok. Let's go back to Demule. Click ok. And now if you try to run the Dreamcast by file run Dreamcast 
it would say something like this specific file is missing in ROM set DC. This might sound a bit confusing but don't give up hope just yet. Basically what we have to do is select both the DC BIOS and the DC flash bin files. Then we have to archive it so right click add to archive, select zip instead of rare and name it just simple DC. Click on OK and it creates an archive called DC. We have to put this archive into the newly created ROMs folder. Now if we start DMU, let's put this folder out of the way. And now click on config video. Here you can set the resolution. 800 by 600 worked fine by me. You may use full screen but for this video's sake I will not use. You can change the aspect ratio, stretch was good for me, the internal resolution. And down below these three hacks are really necessary because I wanted to avoid those invisible menu and 2D elements just like I had it in Null DC. So click OK. Let's go to another section like sound. I think all is fine if you use this setting. And GD-ROM. Now this is an important step. You have to select the drive that you previously mounted your Vacuraces disk image or CDI into. Alright, netplay if you ever want to play online. And finally the controls. Under the section Dreamcast select Joy 1 and you can set your key bindings here. This is the specific binding I used using the numeric keypads for accelerating and turning. The A, S, Y and X button uses the abilities and the enter button is the start button. Pretty simple but feel free to use any configuration that you like. Also here you can set buttons for the state save or state load functions. Believe you me, at the end of the game against the dastardly you will need those two functions. Before we start set the CPU mode to Dynarec otherwise the game would be unplayably low on FPS. If everything's done just click file and run Dreamcast and if you've done everything correctly and God is with you, you can see the screen and your Dreamcast will start and your Becky Races game will start properly. So here it is, it works completely. My only complaint is that I've mentioned that the sound gets a bit distorted if you're in the menus but I think that's a burden I can bear. So that's it folks. I hope this video helps you a lot and have fun playing this awesome game.